Because carbon dioxide affects temperature and climate, it therefore becomes important to study why carbon dioxide enters the atmosphere and why it is removed from the atmosphere. There are many factors which uh, we cannot uh, consider here, such as the carbon dioxide entering the atmosphere through volcanic eruptions, how much is absorbed by the oceans, etc. Of importance to us here is the carbon cycle which involves living things. There is carbon dioxide in the air. Plants, algae, and some bacteria can remove this carbon dioxide from uh, the air and create biomolecules with it, such as sugars, amino acids, etc. It is one of the fascinating aspects of chemistry to consider that the molecules of life, the carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, DNA, and RNA in living things, uh, are constructed by rearranging the molecules which we find in inorganic uh, substances such as carbon dioxide, water, ammonia, etc. And so plants, using energy from the sun, rearrange inorganic molecules from the environment, including carbon dioxide, the carbon source. Through photosynthesis and subsequent chemical reactions, they are able to create sugar, amino acids, nucleic acids, fats, etc. from these inorganic substances. So carbon is removed from the atmosphere to create the stuff of living things in photosynthesis. Animals can then use these biomolecules created by the plants. Animals can eat entire plants, eat their leaves, their fruit, drink their nectar, etc. And thus animals can create their animal biomolecules, the animal sugars, lipids, nucleic acids, etc. by modifying the biomolecules of plants. So animals can take these biological molecules from plants, originally uh, which incorporated carbon dioxide, and convert them into the biomolecules of their own bodies. As plants and animals obtain energy from their biomolecules, breaking down sugar to grow, to move in animals, etc., this process, known as cellular respiration, releases carbon dioxide from a gas. So the energy in sunlight, which was stored in biomolecules such as sugar, can then be released when plants and animals need it. In this process, cell respiration, the uh, carbon which was stored in glucose or amino acids or fat or whatever is once again converted to the gas, carbon dioxide. This can occur in living things as they perform cellular respiration. When living things die, then decomposers such as fungi and bacteria then can perform respiration and convert these carbon-rich molecules in the decomposing matter uh, into energy and carbon dioxide which is released into the air. So the carbon which was stored in living things can be returned to the atmosphere through the processes of cellular respiration and decomposition after death. Thus, we can speak of a carbon cycle. In this cycle, carbon dioxide is removed from the air. It is converted into the stuff of living things when plants perform photosynthesis. Animals can eat these plants and then convert plant biomolecules into animal biomolecules. And the carbon which is now stored in living things can be returned to carbon dioxide in the air through cellular respiration and decomposition of dead plant and animal material.